Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here. Only, and today we're gonna to be checking out Pokemon Kanto Generations. So the dev for this game asked if I could check it out and give some feedback. I have no problem with that at all. Uh, first thing first, I wish there was an option on this main screen to where I could turn down the volume because it actually starts out really loud, which I'm gonna to have to edit that down for you guys. But I have no problem checking out games if, de if developers ask. Most of the time, it really depends on what it is and how it looks. Because it could not be for me, it could be for me. But yeah, I'm gonna start getting back into indie games and a little bit of roguelikes. I'll, I'll explain that in another video. But yeah, let's go. So there are different trainers. There's Red Trainer. Oh, I just push one and it just. Alright, that's weird. Sure, let's start a server. Oh, Red Trainer? What? The red trainer is ash and red. <laughs> okay, let's see. WSD to move, space to jump. Yes to continue. And X to no. Menu is inside of your enter. And then you have your tab to release Pokemon. Okay. Oh god. Okay, that's one thing I not a huge fan of. Your left click is to move around your camera, what is normally right cl click. Okay, I'm using WASD. Oh, uh, nope. It's not using WASD, it is actually using the um, arrows. Can I move into any of these houses? I'm gonna say one thing already. The, the controls are kind of stiff, and it does feel weird to use um, some of these controls. Ah, I can't go in any of these doors. I'm sad. What was the um, to release your Pokemon? To release your Pokemon, you push tab. Do I even have a Pokemon? I don't think I do. Okay, map. Ah, region map. There we go. Okay, I like that. I always love the region map to where I can see where I am or what places to go. So I'm guaranteeing that we are in Pallet Town over here. But it's not telling us that we're in Pallet Town. Or showing us on the map. So that's kind of a feels bad. But I think I know my way around. Yeah, there it is. Kind of remember from like a few games, and this kind of looks like one of them that I've played before, or maybe I'm just overthinking. Ah, uh, this definitely isn't one that I played. Is that an Abra? What is he doing over here? How you doing, Abra? Abra. One guy even makes sound effects. <laughs> you can't teleport without a Pokemon first. Okay, so they have the whole teleport system, like um. Okay. Ah, oh, goddamn! I keep going back to WASD. But they have the whole camera system like um, Pokemon MMO 3D has. Oh, so you just run into the door, see so going. Eh, I like to see that sometimes. You know, the whole transition thing into the next room. Oh, did I just come out the back or something? Oh yeah, I did. I'm guessing that's where we're supposed to go. Can we go into this door? Ah, I don't... Okay, yeah, the controls are kind of weird. Okay. I hope there are some secrets. Kind of like the layout of the map a little bit. You can't zoom in or zoom out, which is not something I don't... Not a huge fan of. Okay, so... If you run into the table... You see which Pokemons are in what. I like that. So I can pick Charmander, Bulbasaur, Squirtle, or I can pick a Pikachu or Eevee. I'm going to Eevee. Eevee is mine. Yes. Can I take another one? Okay, no, I can't. <laughs> I was about to say. 
Okay, so they have the Pokemon system where you can just click and stop. Oh. Never mind, not click. Keep forgetting. It's a uh, Z. Yeah, for some reason it doesn't want to use my WASD keys, which I'm not a huge fan of. Because I gotta keep, I gotta reach my hand all the way to the right of my keyboard. It's kind of making me reach all over the keyboard. Okay, there is the release of my Pokemon. So I'm guessing we can. Oh, oh, it, it follows me. I like that. And that's kind of like a late noise for the um, healing station. All right, let's go, buddy. I really do like that. I wish there was a option for that in Pokemon Noon, though. 3D. They have their own unique thing. So wait, if I go near a Pokemon, will uh, anything happen? It's gonna be weird trying to jump with the... Um... Oh, oh. How do I... Oh, I can jump out. Okay, this is gonna be weird because I gotta... Gotta kinda angle it just to jump. Okay. Hold on, is there a config button? I don't see there being an option. Okay. No, it's menu. Uh, hold on. Menu. There we go. Okay, so there is no option for my keys, but there is an option to save. Oh, okay, so this is more, more like a single player type of game that you could just play with your friends now and then. I like that. Where I'm born in, Pallet Town. Uh, I wonder if you can choose where you want to be born later on. But you can see your Pokemon here. And you have your Pokedex. Alright, nice, nice, nice. Oh, there's Eevee. Okay, I'm clicking on it, but nothing's going on there. Alright, I guess that's not a thing yet. So it's, this game does look like it's in kind of early stages. Okay, so battling. To start battling, hover over the Pokemon with the mouse and left click. During the battle, push enter to bring up the battle menu. Push Q or E between, oh, switch between attacks. Being on the top, okay. Catching. Push the space bar to begin catch mode. Oh, backspace, whoops. Push the backspace to start capture mode. Then switch with the Pokeball. Oh, then choose which Pokeball to use. My bad, my, my reading. <laughs> From the button on the bottom part of the screen, so these. After that, use the mouse as a pointer and hover over the Pokemon you want to throw the Pokeball at. That Pokemon will be highlighted at and a message will appear. Left click the mouse and the Pokemon will launch. Okay. So is there like... I want to actually see this system now. Oh, I can not move. I am actually stuck. Oh, because the menu is still up. How does one drop menu? I, I'm pushing it. I'm pushing enter. Okay, it doesn't go back down, so I gotta save again just to get out of it. Okay, there we go. Now, I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty uh, simple, but it has its own type of like charm, you know? If you can battle trainers in this, then that's a one-up you guys have on Pokemon MMO 3D. Okay. I don't see anything over here. So I guess this is just like a little backspace for like Pokemons that Professor Oak has. So far I'm not seeing any NPCs. Wait, what? I guess it just does that each time I enter this place? Huh, weird. Alright. Let's keep going. Nah, I'm not gonna use you, Abra. 
I'm going on a journey. So, the differences that I can see already is majorly between like map scaling. Oh, so this is route um, 18. Um, pushing stuff. I cannot get out of this. Oh no. Well, that's something I don't like already. I am actually stuck in this. I'm pushing X, but okay, there we go. I've pushed two. Um, okay, I, I did push two, but now it went back to doing this. I guess it's like a timed thing that just let me out of it. That just makes me not want to talk to anything or run into anything. Hello? Game? Can can I get out of this? Okay. Okay, and it re it re did it. Okay. Let's go with Green Trainer. Oh. Green Trainer is actually a different design. And I have to restart all that. Great. And I still can't use WASD. Alright. There are some down points of this now. Huh? I go in facing this direction? That's weird. I guess I didn't hear the um, grabbing your Pokemon noise just because I don't have a Pokemon. And once I step in here, I heal. There needs to be a way to get off of signs. That I am no longer reading signs at all. <laughs> signs are dangerous <laughs> in this game. <laughs> Okay, so we know that's Route 18, and it doesn't seem like uh, saving my game did anything. Maybe it's locked to, to like characters, is what I'm guessing. And there's like a little bar over my head. I'm not a huge fan of that. Okay, let me just double check, just to make sure it's not tied to a character. Green. Create a server. Okay, the save the save option is pretty useless. It it doesn't save anything. You know, stop, stop, ignore what this idiot is saying. You do have a continue button, it's right here. I, I was not looking over there. You could just continue by just typing in name and loading up. This is where I last stopped at. Well, this is where I last saved. Ignored what he's saying. Ignore everything he's talking about with the whole save thing. We're gonna, we're just gonna pretend like it didn't happen. All right, we're we're pretending like it didn't happen. I, I'm guessing if you, oh, when you try to change characters, it doesn't pop up. So it's basically like the game's processing you starting a new character if you click one of these. Okay, I get it. Well, yeah, back to the video. So far, I can see that it does a lot of different things from Pokemon MMO. 3D. I always have to add on the 3D part. <laughs> I should just call it P P3D for short. Oh god, the no, U-turn once I grab the um, screen. Okay, yeah. You can, if you're going forward and you click on the screen, your character does a U-turn. Oh, what's over here? You haven't run into any wild Pokemon yet. I like this little uh, battle thing here. Huh, pretty neat. But I like the more generic, you know, kind of layout of the game. It's trying to like copy a little bit of Pokemon and how they always have their stuff. That's for sure. <laughs> nope, avoid the sign. It's, it's an endangerment to your life. So what's over here? 
This should be a, like a totally new town, actually, I think, now that I think about it. Just because back from Pallet Town, it's a different direction. It's supposed to like lead to a new place. Actually, from right here, it looks like a Dragon Ball Z area. Remember, uh, what was it? Master Roshi's like house? <laughs> Oh wow, uh, uh, my character is now doing some act of swimming. This is a new form I've never seen before. I don't think I could jump, oh nope, I can't jump up here. Uh, my character is still doing this new act of air swimming now. This is, I have transcended. Okay, never mind. I, I fixed it. <laughs> All right, let's go talk to this guy. Wait, why does he look like the dude from, um, George Lopez? <laughs> so I can't... Oh, okay. Yeah, I can't talk to you. Okay, they actually have NPCs that, um, dialogue. I like that. Aw, oh, you can run into the Pokemon and they speak to you. I can't go inside of his house, though. So I'm, so I'm kind of sad. I like to explore random p places and, you know, still stuff from their magic chests or their random garbage can that's laying around <laughs> I feel like somebody voice acted that like not not even voice acted from like um, the actual show just voice acted all together this original assets and I feel like that's very nice <laughs> You can also evolve by hitting a certain level. <laughs> I'm just I'm just letting you know, buddy. I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, in like the more classic Pokemon games, it was kinda like um What was it? It was kinda like if you had a cloister or something or a shelter inside of your um party. Did it do something to the slow slow poke? Oh no, it's doing this act of swimming again. This is my new form when I swim. I have, I have an odd feeling that I'm going to drown if I ever do the swimming form in real life. <laughs> huh. I, I wonder why I have that feeling. <laughs> Alright, let's go use the Abra. Because it, it doesn't seem like we can go anywhere else here. Seems like it's more of a teleport thing. They don't have like, you know full-on expiration yet or I'm just not finding uh, the way out yet maybe maybe it's up here no it doesn't look like it any trees are blocking my path like any Pokemon game <laughs> oh god I need to stop clicking now, I'm more of a fan of when I right-click and move the camera that it that it actually hides the mouse cursor Ah, so only these two regions are open. Teleport me. Maybe it's not that I'll defeat the gym leader. Where is he? Let me out. Oh, what's up here? Oh, I just walked into a building. Ah, it's a Pokemon Center. We're looking Pokemon Center though. I'm just gonna walk. How? Oh. Damn it, Chansey. You always stop me from doing cool things. Okay, obviously there's some boundaries. And the North Joy actually heals your Pokemon for you. Alright, alright. A few features that outshine uh, P3D. A few. Oh, and I cannot walk on this. Uh, well. <laughs> oh, and I can go through this. Alright. Um, wait, what? Honey? Huh? Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna head on out of here. What is this? Oh no, I forgot. Once I hit signs, it's, it's kind of game over for me. Oh, you just walk into these houses. Like, I'm oh, oh, guessing these houses don't exist. Maybe I'll find a secret as I run through all of them. Nope, no secrets. Ah, this one has collision.
I'm just gonna walk through yeah uh, or not. Can I talk to you guys? No? I mean you guys look pretty interesting. Okay, so this is a this is a gym. Probably Brock's uh, gym. Let me guess this one has that collision. Yeah, I kinda figured. <laughs> but neat for a small game. Neat, neat, neat. Oh, Growlit. Hey buddy, how you doing? Growlit, growl. Oh my god, he just barked at me. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> Hope he doesn't have rabies. So what's this place? Is this the Pokemart? Oh, it is. It is the Pokemart. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Let me buy stuff. Uh, you got any um, stones in here? Ah, leaf stone. Damn it. I'm broke. Like every other Pokemon game. Of course. <laughs> I don't know. I just like Leafeon a lot. It, hands down, it's probably one of my favorite Eevee evolutions. I know that may be weird to you, but... Bite me. <laughs> um, this place leads to nowhere. No, let's let's touch the side. Oh, that's a route that doesn't exist. Victory Road. Ah, this one actually let me go. Okay, nope, it's holding me hostage. Okay, dude, get away from the side. <laughs> God, I never knew signs were so evil. <laughs> and now I know. Now let's go check the other sign and see if I get stuck there. Oh, okay, I see on the map. It actually kind of shows me where everything is. I kind of like the little 3D map though. I, I've noticed that. 3D map is kind of neat. Even though it doesn't pop up all the buildings that are there. What is what is this one? Oh, this is the forest that you're supposed to go through. It doesn't exist yet. Oh god. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Ah. No. Okay. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Hopefully there will be a, be an unstuck button. Just in case somebody gets stuck. But we're getting three Pokemon games that are actually um, 3D and, you know, worth actually trying out. They're actually, you know, breaking, making some breakthroughs. Let's just hope Nintendo fucks off. What is up here? Oh my god, this is a wide open field. Alright, oh, alright my guy. Shit, when the theme song said far and wide, you, you went the extra mile of making it far and wide. So 3D games are gonna be... Well, 3D Pokemon games obviously need to have like huge maps, you know? How else are they going to hold all their Pokemon? Oh, I haven't seen any other Pokemon, actually. Now that I actually think about it. What's this over here? Is that a person there with the red hat? Or is that just a red thing? I'm coming over. I want to see. All I've seen is like stationary Pokemon. I haven't seen any wild Pokemon yet. So I'm just very curious of what's going on. Beware of Gyarados. Bitch, ain't nobody afraid of Gyarados. Pokemon in the area. Honey? Um, you lied to me. I see nothing. Oh god. Oh, so get okay, they pop up after a while. Dude, you ain't shit. My Eevee will stop you. Murder. Um, I uh duh. Nani? Sand attack that bitch. Um uh, I I 
Nani. I'm I'm trying to see how to play. <laughs> okay, so Ah. Uh... Oh, he can't hit me because of like <laughs> my height. <laughs> Uh, is he mean looking me? Um, this is so weird. Okay. Not sure I'm a huge fan. Oh, it has so many different moves. It has eight different moves. Can we bite him? Okay. Can I click this? Thank you. I'm not sure how attacking works. But it's just a start battle. I wish I could see that, to be honest, but I cannot. Run. Okay. Now, can I see this? Ah, always have. Okay, I see. Um, is it on him? Um, no, it's not. Because it's like a weird tracking motion that. Um. How how does one hit a Gyarados? Can can I see? Hello? No, I'm not allowed to see. Oh, maybe because it's just all right. I think I understand what's going on here. I have not used a single attack yet that I know of. Did I even hit you yet? No, I, I still have not hit you. I have yet to hit you. This is probably the easiest battle that I probably could be in. But yet, it's it's so weird that it's not hitting. Um, I don't even understand. Yeah, probably not the best battle system. So, yeah, we're just going to stop that and just avoid that situation. Alright, you know what? Maybe I do give a fuck about how Gyarados fights, because that was um, quite something. Yeah, the battling system needs work. I, I would say, like, um, actually, like, I would say tab targeting is probably the best because that that is gonna be weird trying to aim with uh, that. I, I say lose their reticle and just have me be able to click on it. That that's it's kind of weird trying to have this little blue reticle that's you know under that goes under the Pokemon. It it doesn't seem like it works out. So yeah, kind of meh on the whole battling system. So I'm guessing this is grass spawned anything? If it, if it's like Pokemon logic, no. Okay. What the hell's that? I see that right there. Oh god, I did see it. This is why I clicked. What is this little thing sitting here? I want to know what it is. It is a donut, from what I see. It's a nice little donut you got there. Be shame. It's, oh, it's a fucking log. I've been jabated. Great. I knew it. I knew I was going to get jabated. Of course. Fool me once. Shame on you. But you won't fool me again. What's over here? Is that a healing station? Yes, it is. It's just sitting out in the 
middle of nowhere. Guess that's pretty convenient. <laughs> I need you to heal my my Eevee. Um, okay, I was about to say, is that not gonna work? That was weird. What what is this? Route one. Nani. Okay, I get it. Route one. Pokemon in this area. Oh, I guess that's pretty neat. It shows me what Pokemon are in this area. So I know it's a wild area. Welcome to Pallet Town. Wait, what? Nani? How did I get back to Pallet Town? Oh no. <laughs> oh, I guess we found the direction of where we're supposed to be headed. Oh, uh, it's kind of like curved. Oh, uh, I gotta go all the way down there just to come out here. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense, I guess. <laughs> I didn't really see it on the map. But there are supposed to be Pokemon here? Where are they? Well, I guess it's for that area, actually. Once I'm leaving this. Yeah, this shows me what Pokemon are in this area. Not in that area. Okay. Well, I guess this is where we're going to end it here. To be honest, this has been an interesting experience. It doesn't have much anything else, because I'm pretty sure it's like a recently started game. Maybe? Could be? I don't know. I don't know too much about the game. But I gotta say, I'm interested to know um, how long they've been working on the game, where do they see themselves in the game, and uh, my character's still running. Alright. Bye, character. It was, it was good knowing you. Really. She she is still going. Alright, I guess this is, is a good place to stop. <laughs> my, my character's going on a walk. We're just gonna let her jog a little bit. Oh, dear God. She is, she is going to mouth. But, yeah. I would say work on the controls mostly. The controls are definitely a lot clunky. The battle system is kind of weird. Oh, I can actually see her on the mini-map of where she's going. <laughs> but yeah, the controls are kind of weird. It, it it needs a lot of work, but I will put a link down in the description for anybody who else wants to try the game. And it's kind of weird that Pokemon just randomly pop up if you're in the area, but sometimes we kind of won't understand which area you're kind of, you know, talking about, because no Pokemon have actually popped up in this area from me just walking. So is it just like a spawn location kind of thing, or is it just like, hey, dude, walk around and they'll eventually pop up? Because I feel like the game's trying to go for like a, you know, kind of classic Pokemon type of feel. And, yes, the map looks very strange, but Pokemon actually look pretty strange too and had some open areas. But they also had a lot of grass. A lot of grass is basically what they, you know, kind of did. Just because you had to walk in it. But in this game, it's kind of like, this whole area is your grass. Pokemon just randomly spawn. Or it's just that patch of grass right there that they spawn in. And you just got to run in it until they all pop up. Which is still kind of weird, but you know. Hey. <laughs> But yeah, I think their biggest flaw right now is their battle system and sort of their movement system. That's what you majorly need to work on. With that said, guys, hope you all enjoy. If you guys enjoyed or find any interest in this game, feel free to check it out. Link it down in the description. Until then, peace out.